Hello, it's Jason Payne for Colt Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm at the beautiful high-end community of Cantera Hills in San Antonio, Texas. I love this location because it's so close to La Cantera Shopping Mall. And if you're not familiar with that, that's where you can buy the Louis Vuitton, Neiman Marcus, all that uber high-end stuff. It's all right here. There's also a lot of other high-end communities in the area. But this one, I really like it. And I really like the home I'm about to show you. It was built by Diamante in 2019. For fun fact, this house was featured in the 2020 Parade of Homes that was located here in Cantera Hills. All right, let's go check out this beautiful home that just came on the market. You like mentioned this home just came on the market about four days ago. The square footage is 4,551. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath house built by Diamante. And Diamante definitely is one of my favorite high-end custom home builders. They build an amazing product. And just want to point out the driveway here. Definitely a kind of a long horseshoe driveway going all the way around. And some really neat landscaping with some nice oak trees right up front. So, uh, yeah, I really like this house and this community. They're not full one acre lots. This one is 0.61 acres, so just over a half acre lot. This is a gorgeous home. I really love the landscaping that they did. And this little gate coming in the courtyard, it's quite neat too. So especially if you want to have a little coffee or something right in the courtyard before you go inside. But yeah, before we go inside, I definitely want to point out just how detailed everything is. The black window trim, which I found out, that's the most expensive window trim you can get. That's not easy to get a hold of now. Big, giant doors as you come in. And yes, you see correctly, it does have a pool already built into it. So we'll go out there in a little bit. But first, let's check out this house. This is the main living space, and I mentioned Diamante. They really are into details, especially in the ceiling. All their ceilings are completely different and unique. They do such an amazing job. Beautiful space, lots of uh, built-in sound already. Another feature is I love this linear fireplace. One of my pet peeves is when you have a uh, TV over your fireplace and it's just you end up straining your neck trying to see it but going to these long linear fireplaces you can put your TV in and not cause such an issue but beautifully done floors like the big giant super tiles that are on here it just looks amazing I mentioned another unique roof line check this one out that is just gorgeous. I mean, Diamante just really goes a little nutso on it. And you can see there's a little space even between in there just to get some more light in. But plenty of windows and lights in this house. And this kitchen. Wow. Love the multi-level island they have here. So if you want to set up some folks around your uh, kitchen island they've got a place for that and plenty of entertainment space because well we already know this is where a lot of people are going to be hanging out at beautifully done things it's got my favorite microwave so i've got to do it gotta push the button i love this i will someday have this microwave in my house it just makes so much more sense to be able to lift up and put on the countertop versus trying to bend over. Speaking of appliances, these are all Thermador appliances. So you can't hardly get a better brand than Thermador and their refrigerators are massive, dual ovens. It's, they've got everything in this house. <clears throat> this beautiful Thermador cooktop, six range with a little grill space and the backsplash is just really super cool. The view from your sink, just really neat how balanced everything is. Really like so much on this house. And a big single basin, uh, granite composite sink, very nice. All right, there's a lot of nice stuff to this house, so I'm gonna try to get to everything. 
One of the nice things I really like about this house is right back here. Don't worry, I'm gonna show that bathroom in a second. But having your own little, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, entertainment, more entertainment space back here with a wet but full bar, TV, game watching place. And uh, yeah, this is super cool. Love how they did a little mirror effect and get this. Got its own ice maker. So you don't have to run into the kitchen. Superly cool sink, faucet, wine rack, I mean, chilled wine place. I mean, this place has it all, along with some super cool lights. Love how you can, like, just, you just, it's like, feel like you're in an entertainment bar space. So super cool. All right, let me see if this door is unlocked. We could go look at the pool area. It's super nice being able to get in and out. There we go. From your bar entertainment area to a propane fire pit, and then a full kitchen spot. I mean, this house is really built for entertaining good sized parties. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the asking price is 1.899 for this house. Like I said, it just came on the market. So, whoa, almost died. Let's see what almost killed me here. Yep, gotta pay attention to the steps. All right, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, but yeah, 1.899 is the current asking price. Things are always negotiable. This house just came on the market. But the sun sets back off this way is where West is at. So you will have the house being able to provide plenty of shade if you just wanna hang out in the backyard and enjoy this really cool kitchen, full kitchen setup. You see they got plenty of cover space to have an outdoor pool table. And just look at this, they even got the big fan up there. This is beautiful. And uh, it is also really nice having a house with an already built in pool. People are always surprised just how expensive it is to get a pool built in especially in the Texas Hill Country where you're digging into limestone because whew, those, those get expensive real fast. But this is a beautifully done pool, perfect size in my opinion. Just really nice. So you get a good look at the what the backyard looks like. See the neighbors out there got their pool too. Cantera Hills doesn't have its own big amenity center. Uh, talking to the developer, they just expect the people that are buying this level home to already have uh, plans to build their own pool. So yeah, the backyard is plenty big enough for any animals that you might wanna have, but not so big that it's a massive pain in the butt to maintain. So it's really nice size, I do like half acre homes and this one is just over that like i said at 1.61 acres but yeah really nice location in the texas hill country there are some really nice communities right around here to include like anaqua springs uh there's a couple of more that aren't coming to my mind, mind real quick but this is on a septic well, let's head back inside because it is 100 degrees outside right now and my uh, fair skin doesn't do well in that so I do have sunscreen on don't worry about that but uh, so much nicer coming in out of the heat but yeah let's go back and check out the rest of this house and the heat's usually not this hot we're having a little heat wave one of the things I want to point out is I love what they did with this bathroom. It kind of went black on black with just some subtle lights in here. Really neat use of space. Oh, they even want, sorry, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, a little black toilet. Very cool. And yeah. All right, let's go check out some more stuff in here. What do we got this way? We have a bedroom. Good sized bedroom. Still, I can't help but notice that they got the ceiling features 
and even the secondary bedrooms. This is so cool. And all these bedrooms do have their own bath, their own en suites. So very nice. This one has a full mud inset shower and its own walk-in closet. So yeah, if you've got some long-term guests and you want them to have their own space, this is a perfect spot for them, kind of away from the other bedrooms and uh, they don't have to be bothering you too much or they can just get a little sense of privacy on this little back corner of the house. All right, and then coming back through the kitchen area, I wanna show off the garage that's back here because it's really nice. You do have a little butler's pantry area and then the main pantry. Good size pantry. Definitely could be a little challenge to fill all of this up. I'm sure someone's thinking right now, challenge accepted. I can fill that up. Eight foot doors throughout. There's a door coming in from the garage. So you have your mud room, plenty of space to put your outdoor shoes away. You do have your laundry room right here. I love the fact that it went a little playful with the laundry room tile. Granite countertops in here, which at this price point, kind of expected. <coughs> Pardon me. You got your sink, view the outside, and a really nice, beautiful Ram pickup truck. And lots of cabinets in here. All right, let's check out the garage itself. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, good size three car garage. It already has a Tesla charging station built into it. So if you're wanting to have your Tesla, no extra expense of getting that put in. This garage does, this house does have two tankless water heaters and a water softener is kind of behind that door. The cellar has its, some painting and stuff going on there. So I don't want to mess with that, but it does have water softener, which is very important in this area because we do have hard water and having a good water softener system is very important. All right, notice more refrigerator chilling spaces there. Kind of went right by and almost forgot to mention this super cool space. If you're looking for a house and coming from uh, an area that really likes wine, hey, you got a built-in wine cellar space, all climate controlled. There it is up there, we're looking at 55 degrees. So very cool to have your own special space and a really cool, oh my God, it feels great in there. All right, let me close that up. Really nice to have. All right, back here, we kind of have a little flex space where you can really do whatever you want to. Got some space if you want to set up some desks and do some homework. There will be another office space that we'll get to a bit later. <clears throat> but we got some more bedrooms back here. Good sized bedrooms. Right, this one just has your regular tray ceiling, which is a, it's even more than I would expect from a secondary bedroom, but it does have its own ensuite as well. Got the same circle themed mirrors. <coughs> and this is the same type of shower you would expect to see in the master bedroom, but they've got it in the, in the secondary bedroom. And I love the tile work that they took all the way up to the ceiling. Really nice. Let's check out the closet space in here. Oh, very nice closet space. Don't want to show off all their goodies. This is someone's, they still have some of their personal stuff in here. And we got another bedroom right around the corner. Once again, tall ceilings. They got the little tray ceiling thing going here. And this bedroom has its own bathroom. Oh, I love this uh, granite. This is high-end granite. And they've got their own mud inset shower as well. Different tile patterns, but also still taking up. Oh, 
All right, I know y'all can't wait to see what the master bedroom and the bathroom looks like, so let's head on over that direction. <clears throat> just crazy, the ceilings in here. And this is just, I don't know if the GoPro is picking up just how spacious this feels. It's really nice. We got different doors going out to the front courtyard. And so much of the stuff is all automated. I forgot to mention that. So let me show that right now. <clears throat> These blinds. Uh, people have asked me several times about getting some luxury automatic blinds where you just push a button and they close until they start seeing the prices of these things and it's like <clears throat> they have these in every room that we were in uh, just different remote ways so they have the little remote sticks to do that but very convenient to be sitting down and decide you want to watch a show and there's a little glare on the TV be able to hit the blinds that way but this is all this whole house is fully automated there's a lot of techie stuff in this house that can be all controlled from your phone. I'll see those blinds there going up now as well too. So back into your little entry space. Let's head this way first. I'm going up to check out this wing. Once again, tall ceilings, and this is a, another room that's got the kind of upgraded floating ceiling up there. And all these have speakers built into them with some high-end speakers in there. That. Could you try again? Oh, good God, Siri, leave me alone. But I know uh, there's a little button somewhere to push, but I don't want to keep hunting for it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I need to turn Siri off. Check out the closet space in here. And wow, this is a big closet space with a window. Really neat. Oh, this is the room that could be your office. Um, they just went ahead and had a, a closet built into this. So this is a perfect space to have your office where you've got a view of the front yard and kind of still separated from the rest of the house. So you shut the door, have all your privacy, and they just built in a closet space for storage. Typically an office won't have a closet, but uh, they wanted the option when they built this house to have this as a bedroom or an office. So if you don't need four bedrooms, this could be your really nice office. I'm, trying, I'm counting the bedrooms. I just, I've sold one, three, four, well, five bedrooms, okay. So that is categorized as an office because we've already looked at, if that was a bedroom, that would be four bedrooms and then you've got the master. So, but check out, well, I've been talking about the ceilings a lot. Check out this one. This is so cool. This is so much neater than your standard tray ceiling. This is such a beautifully done master bedroom. Lots of space. And of course we do have the door opening up to the pool. So if you want to wake up, get some coffee going, go sit down on the pool side and drink your coffee, you can do that in this house. Light fixtures are all really cool too. And once again, speakers throughout. Check out this bathroom. This is impressive. Got the floating cabinet going on. More of the themed circle mirrors throughout. His and her vanity really big uh, freestanding so uh, soaking tub and you can get that pretty darn deep and then of course you've got your mud inset shower some beautiful tile work and if you're going to do it do it right get the full rain shower effect in here that'd be really super cool to be taking showers in here with a step so if the ladies need to shave their legs i really love this bathroom this is really nice. And let's check out the master bedroom closet. Like I said, just the details in here. This is all really nice cabinetry. 
but this is a big walk-in closet and they took the same tile in the bathroom and carried it into the closet lots of space for your hanging racks they've got more storage things there but uh get really nice space here and coming around the corner even more clothing racks and your mirror to check yourself before you kind of go out that's gonna be your linen closet right there but just a beautifully done house I still can't get over some of these different tiers in the ceiling and yes this does have those uh, fancy blinds in here too going down when you just push a button we put them back up I'm really liking this home and uh, I kind of also really like the builder. Uh, I've done a couple of deals with Diamante before. They build a beautiful home, as you can tell. I really like them. <clears throat> but to get a Diamante home ready to move in, home, that's really nice. So you don't have to spend a year during the construction process. So I really do like this house. Just came on the market. It is, as I'm filming this, it is, what, 21 June, 2023. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this house. All right, if you're still with me, I definitely appreciate it. With these big custom homes, sometimes they take a little time. And this house has 4,551 square feet, so that's a big house. Uh, if you're interested in this house, feel free to reach out to me. I am not the listing agent, but I can help you with if you're looking to buy the house. So, uh, remember, if you're on the buying side, especially a pre-existing home, it will cost you nothing to use a real estate agent. So feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. And if this home isn't your taste, but uh, you're looking for something similar to this, you know what? I can help you with that too. Uh, just click the link in the description box to schedule a phone call or a Zoom meeting with me, and I'll be happy to help. All right, that's gonna do it for now. Of course, I want you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.